Good morning. So, oh, I'm gonna stay back here because the lighting is a little bit too much. The day is over, the day is over, the day is over, the day is over. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas. Oh, good morning, good morning, Merry Christmas. Get ready with me, Christmas edition. Today we're actually um, just chilling. It's just opening gifts, chilling with family, that type of thing. So we have like a Christmas dinner tomorrow. I'm out of town, as you can see. We're gonna get started. I was gonna do a little twist out, right? But then, um, if I was gonna do a twist out for today, I should have started that last night. I didn't do that. So we're about to just do a little wash and go. I wanted to try out this Curlella Defining Custard. I feel like I've tried this before. It looks very familiar. I feel like I've... Usually I can like smell things and recall if I've used it or not. I can't really tell. I can't really tell, but I'm about to see what this does. As you can see, that's not doing a whole lot. Yeah, I bought that thinking I was gonna do like a twist style. I'm gonna just stick to the gel, cause shout out. I'm just using regular old Eco Styler gel. Today's Christmas, I'm really excited. I'm like, finally like unplugged from the year, from work and everything. Ooh. I have like the next week off. I'm looking forward to it. I don't have a lot planned, okay? But the thing is, I'm really like in my organization era and I hate when people say, that word era, right? But I've been hearing it so much that my brain doesn't know what else, what other word to use for. Let's say I'm in my organization stage of my life. That's era, you know? But um, I'm in the organization stage. Like I'm gonna sort some old mail. Like does anybody have mail that they like pile, up, like pile up, like old mail? Like you, you saw something and you knew it was important when you looked at it. Or you didn't even open it, right? But with the, the envelope was like, yeah, it's important. But you didn't have time to really dive into it. Because you knew it was probably like owing somebody money or something. Bro, I don't have a lot of those, but I have a lot of those. A lot of them were like tickets though. But I paid a lot of them because they were easy pass toll tickets. I paid that already for the little waiver fee thing. But I still have like... <laughs> some parking tickets I need to pay like and it's all in my mail I need to get organized I've already downsized so I took a bunch of stuff like a basket and like six bags full of stuff to Goodwill I have a closet I need to clean out I still got like shoes that I'm like thinking about selling my shoes because a lot of my shoes I like buy a pair of shoes for a picture or an outfit take a picture in the shoes you know what I'm saying and then literally never wear the shoes again and I'm real bad about that like I do that all the time yo can we talk about how cold it's been this weather has been really disrespectful like if you're on the east coast you know what I'm talking about it's been crazy first of all where I live in Maryland it was like six degrees yesterday and then I'm in I'm in the mountains in Reading right now Pennsylvania and I thought it was gonna be much colder because, you know, we're in the mountains and stuff. It was five degrees here. But see, it was worse back home because when I left, they had like some sort of like, it was rain. It was a lot of rain. It was like a little thunderstorm passing through or whatever. It froze when the temperature dropped. So it was real bad. It almost made me happy to be up here. Even though the wind up here was disrespectful, I don't know how windy it was back home, but the wind up here, oh, it was disrespectful when we came in. The AC. It was so disrespectful that my car was fighting. So I have lane keep assist. The lane keep assist was fighting the wind and it felt like I was gonna like lose control of the car. I'm not gonna hold you. I had to turn it off because it just wasn't working. Like, and I know my dad and my brother felt the car jerking like that. I kept it cool, but I was freaking out on the inside. I was shook because I have a um, I have a Hyundai Elantra, and to me, it's a big body Benz because my last car was like a Toyota Corolla, and that's super compact. 
But the launch was still pretty small and it, the wind was just, it was blowing it around like it was a little smart car. Can we talk about my hair growth over the past year? Like, girl, who is she? I need to get a trim though. Back to the weather. This weather has been so cold that like, it really made me think about the people who don't have a roof over their head during this time of year. And my thoughts and my prayers are really with those people. Like my heart is with them because it is disrespectfully cold outside. So imagining somebody who doesn't have anywhere to go and they're stuck in that kind of cold, like no nowhere to go, bro. My hearts and my prayers were with those people and it kind of inspired me to, to look into doing something about it. I really wanna look into donating to some causes. I thought about going and grabbing like a box of like hand warmers or something from Home Depot and just going about and passing them out because it's so cold. Well, I don't know how people are surviving. I'm so excited. So I actually sent a list to my family this year and they said they got me one thing off the list and then they got me something else. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what I got. My dad's gift is in the mail still. So it's gonna go straight to his house. And then his girlfriend's gift, I still have to wrap. Mind you, they all downstairs. Gonna open their gifts soon. My brother was trying to say it was boring up here or whatever. Um, Cause my dad is, old, is a bit older, right? And his girlfriend, she's, I don't really know how old she is, but she has a son who is grown now, but it's just him. So they don't have like, a whole lot of games and stuff like they have some games and the games they have are actually really cool but there's not like a whole lot to do here in the house and then there's not a whole lot to do in the surrounding area too too much so i went to target got uno and then they have black card revoked and then they also have the monopoly game the um the electronic one so i've been like trying to like liven it up and see what we can do. Yeah, we've been playing games and stuff. My brother actually was having a good time, even though he was like, oh, it's boring. Let's go to Top Golf. He wanted to go to Top Golf, and Top Golf is 40 miles away. He thought I was gonna drive 40 miles to spend money on drinks when there are drinks in the house. Yo, I'm so tempted to cut my hair again. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I really do love it. And like when I did cut it, there were times where I was like, damn, I really made a mistake. But I just feel like I look so good bald if I could just commit to it. I can't commit to being bald. Every time I go bald, I'm just like, you need to grow that out. When it's first bald, I think it's so cute. It starts to grow out a little cute, right? It starts to grow out a little more. Uh, uh, we're getting kind of crazy, but it's cute, right? That in-between stage of that to here it's just so dusty to me like i cannot commit to it that's when i just start getting like protective styles and stuff and then my hair grows even longer and then i get to a length where it's, it just wouldn't make sense to cut it you know what i mean like if i get to a length where like i'd be mad if i cut it because i came all this way and i'm growing out next thing you know it's been a year and you're still tempted to cut your hair again that's me right now tempted i, I just want to cut it off for real like guys next year i'm getting back into <sighs> health and wellness i have taken some time off from the gym um and even when i went back last year i didn't really have any goals i just wanted to get active again and this time i actually have goals and stuff actual like measurable goals that i feel like are attainable you guys are my my in my mirror so sorry i gotta get close and personal for this one yeah next year i want to start taking health and wellness seriously again we'll see how i do but i think for me the biggest part of it is nutrition like I be slacking on the nutrition. I don't be doing what I should be doing. But next year I'm definitely gonna be better. I've already started kind of, but I started my period, so I fell off the wagon because who eats 
Like, who eats healthy when they're on their period? And if you do say you do, I just feel like you lying. My flesh is weak, especially on my period. Like, I can't. I'm not saying no to chocolate when I'm on my period. Matter of fact, I'm not saying no to anything I want when I'm on my period because anything for the princess. That's how I treat myself when I'm on my period because, you know, as a woman, I've been having periods for some time now, but every time it starts, so that means every month, I still get this feeling of what the fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I am still kind of like in shock on a monthly basis that we have to go through this until we don't anymore, you know what I mean? I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about them. Am I used to having them at this point? No, I'm not. I finally moved on from eyebrows. Yeah, I'm not. Oh my God, that's so much. That's too much. What? Bruh. What's up? Why you keep coming in here? I ain't got my stuff in here. Get out. Or you even nobody who likes you still. <laughs> Get out. Shut up. Don't make promises you can't keep. Ouch, I'm What kind of vitamins you got? Stress relief. Uh, multivitamin, multi plus vitamin men, and I um, have allergy medicine. My eyes are vitamin right now, I didn't even realize. You want to try the multi vitamin men? <laughs> Sorry, sh shut up. <laughs> Piss me off. Shut the door. So, me and my brother went to the movies yesterday. And he went to go see Black Panther. I went to go see Avatar. And he was saying that he preferred Avatar over Black Panther. Because I'm biased, I don't think I'm going to say that. However, he did make a valid point in that Black Panther's graphics were not as good as the Avatar's. I feel like that was a valid point. And Avatar just has the graphics on lock. I feel like that's why I really like watching those movies. Because, like, Avatar has a lot of killing and a lot of, like, just, like, action-y scenes. And I'm into that. But I'm typically only into that when it's, like, only, like, females. Does that make sense? Like, I love a good female lead. You know what I'm saying? And don't let her be black. I'm all up in it. You know what I mean? But for them to, for it to not be centered basically around females and then, um... Why do I say females? Women. For it not to be centered around women, for it to be so like, to me, it just reminds me of any like packed, action packed movie that you would see. Alien type action packed movies that they come out with. It just reminds me of those, but the graphics are unmatched. Like the graphics are so unmatched. And I feel like that's why I really enjoy watching them. They're watching movies. They have guests. I don't smell any breakfast, though. They missed the memo on breakfast because I don't smell no bacon. I don't smell nothing cooking downstairs. I don't know if you can hear my family. We kind of loud. But yeah, so I'm finishing up the look at this point. Um, I've gone into survival mode because I'm hungry. I'm just gonna put that there and then blend it out. I just remembered I have to do something with my hair still. I was like, look at you, you done. Girl, you ain't done. I'm reflecting now on the year and stuff, on 2022. 
and one thing that I'm really grateful for is like so this year was like hard okay like I talked about in my last video about how I lost my grandmother this year I also got into a really bad car accident this year um I got a new car like and like one thing I've really learned is just even before you at it is so easy to look at and I feel like for me I've been conditioned to not covet what other people have but compare myself because and I'm gonna just be honest with y'all growing up I just was always compared to somebody doing something and it was always used as like a negative thing it's basically kind of like why can't you be more like that so growing up naturally when you're having to deal with that I constantly was comparing myself to other people and even now I find myself doing it sometimes I'm running out of time so I'm about to just put my hair up into two little like ponytails in the front and call it a day you know what I mean so and I find myself doing it now and it's never from like a negative standpoint when I compare myself to others like I'll be genuinely happy to others but I'd be like you know what you need to like if it's like, what were you doing to accomplish your goals versus what they were doing? You know what I mean? Like, everybody is able to accomplish their goals. Like, they have discipline. What do you have? Like, and I guess that that is negative when you really get down to it and think about it. But one thing I learned this year was to just give people their flowers and not compare myself. You never know the trials and tribulations that they've had to go through to get to where they're at. And, you know everybody was meant for them isn't meant for them was meant for you was meant for you and you know i just and all that i say all that to say this year really taught me how to just be thankful for where i'm at whether it's in a place that i deem good or bad it's just like it's where i'm at my eyes water why is it water one thing god really was telling me this year was to just be patient like everyone is different everyone's trials and tribulations are different and comparing myself it's just gonna aid to me being like unhappy and it kind of just distracts me from doing what i need to be doing like you over here thinking about somebody else and what they got going on and you have all this other stuff going on you know what i mean and then in a way i realize how ungrateful it is when you do that because like just the fact that i woke up in the morning is a blessing you see what i mean but then i go and compare my progress to somebody else's progress and it's like one you don't know what that person has been through you don't know where god has taken them from you don't know where god is leading them you see what i'm saying and then also like you don't know what they did behind the scenes to get to where they want to be you're so worried about what they're doing you're distracted from your mission and what you're doing i had to kind of like hold myself accountable for some of the toxic things that i was doing and traits that i was carrying into my adulthood because i'm not comparing myself to people like that moving forward because what i have is for me like what i've been through is what i've been through what other people have been through is what they've been through. You're supposed to clap for people and keep it moving, like. And I feel like when parents, when parents compare you a lot, it can like lead to a child having a spirit of jealousy because what if I internalize what she said differently? My time will come and I just need to do what I need to be doing and I'm just grateful for where I'm at. And I feel like that was the lesson that god was trying to teach me all along like you can't move forward how can god bless you when you're not grateful for the little things that he does for you and for me i'm a very much a little things kind of person like i like to i like to, when people let me know that i'm thought of that they're thinking about me like i'm just very grateful for the little things because i feel like the little things make the big things and when you ignore the little things it can become a big thing so yeah god's been working on my heart and it's been getting better and i've been like one of my roommates he is very big on being humble and sometimes we have conversations and you ever just like talk to somebody and you know god put them in your life because you needed to hear something that they had to say or like a lesson that there was a lesson in them that you needed to learn you know what i'm saying and for him 
he's constantly talking to me about being humble and humility and like how and like treating others as I would want to be treated and I know that like I've been working so much and just like going through so much. I became such a cutthroat individual. I wasn't grateful for anything that I had going on. I always wanted more. I always wanted more and nothing was ever enough, right? Because of the things that I was going through, I wasn't like the most humble person in the world. And just living with him and having conversations with him has taught me a lot about humility. And the important thing is um, just being grateful and thankful that you have what you have because I didn't give him a moment and he, everything could change. And I feel like that's one thing last year, this year, because it's still 2022, this year that I've learned like in a blink of an eye, everything could just. What about the next butter gloss? Um, a chill little look today. A chill slay. So guys, it has been like four hours. I'm sorry, four hours since I filmed this video. We had like presents to open and breakfast to cook and all types of stuff family stuff we did like a gingerbread house we was doing a lot now we're cooking dinner so i have a little bit of time to myself i wanted to take this time before i close the video to send a special shout out to those people who <clears throat> for whatever reason are not able to spend the holiday with loved ones. I just wanted to send my love, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And I hope your day is amazing. I hope, you know, you were able to have some fun wherever you are and enjoy the people around you, enjoy yourself, enjoy your time. And I just want to close out the video and say Happy New Year. This is gonna be, and Merry Christmas, cause today's Christmas and Happy Holidays for those who don't celebrate Christmas. But, um. This is going to be the last video of 2022. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. This year was like interesting for me. Y'all have heard about it. Honestly, I feel like these last two videos I've been talking about this year, like reflecting and then talking about what I want to do for next year. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm in such a good headspace. I feel like God revealed a lot to me this year and taught me a lot about myself. And I, I took some very hard lessons on the chin this year. I really did like I took a lot of hard lessons on the chin I found myself in a place of like hopelessness from all these things I was going through and then all of a sudden my mindset changed it went from woe is me to I'm thankful for what I have and if something was taken from me I'm thankful for what I have left like there is I have yet to find myself in a situation that God hasn't pulled me out of and he set me up to a point where I haven't found a situation where it's so bad that I don't know what to do. And I thank God for that. I just praise God that like everything that this year has thrown at me, I was able to land on my feet. Even if I got a little scuffed up, I had a little black eye or two. I feel very positive, a little annoying too, but very positive. I'm just so thankful. I don't know. I'm just grateful as hell over here like ready to see where 2023 takes me and ready to see what God has in store for me and you know even my friends I'm so excited for like what God has in store for them and it's just I love everybody and everything right now I don't know I don't know so I'm gonna see you guys next year don't forget to like comment and subscribe not for real subscribe thanks for watching if you made it this long and I'll see you guys in my next video